hi guys welcome back to the channel for today's video i'll be showing you how to draft a neat bodice block with this pattern you can create garments that do not have a zipper at the back so like simple t-shirts sweaters and even dresses i recently used this pattern to create a simple cow neck top and it came out so beautifully if you haven't seen that tutorial yet make sure to check it out and let's get started so to begin drafting this pattern i'll start by coming down from the top of my pattern paper by one inch I'll go on to square out that point and that will become my shoulder line and from that line i'll be taking the rest of my measurements and the next measurement i'll be taking is from the nape of my neck all the way to my waist and when i measured i had 16 inches so from that shoulder line i'll be going down by 16 inches i'll mark that point across and then square it out with my ruler and that line will become my waistline so after drawing out these two lines the next thing to do is to find the midpoint of the distance between the two lines so 16 divided by 2 will give me 8 so i'm just going to be marking 8 inches downwards from the shoulder line i'll mark that point across as well and then square it out with my ruler and that will become my bust line so i'll just go ahead to label all these lines so there's the waistline the bust line and the shoulder line so this pattern i'm drafting is for the back i'll be drafting out the back pattern first before moving to the front so i'm just indicating that and this edge right here will be my center back and it will be cut on a fold i know i indicated center front there just ignore it i'm used to drafting out the front before the back so next i'll be moving on to create my neckline and my shoulder slope and for the back neck width i'm going with three inches so from the center back i'm going in by three inches along the shoulder line next i'll be marking half of my across shoulder measurement so i'll just go ahead to mark eight inches from the center back along the shoulder line as well now from the three inch mark for the neck width i'll be going up by half an inch i just marked that now i'll go ahead to connect the point with my ruler and i'll be connecting that point back to the shoulder line in the form of a curve to give the back neckline so that's what i'm doing right now so this curve right here will be the neckline for the back now from this other point right here i'll be coming down by half an inch and then i'll be connecting that point to meet the point on the neckline so this is what will give the shoulder slope so i'll just go in with my ruler to connect the two points together in a slant like so and there's my shoulder slope next i'll be connecting the end of that shoulder slope downwards to meet the bust line so first i'm measuring the same eight inches i measured for the shoulder slope so that when i connect it the line will be straight and then i'll go in with my ruler to connect the two points together before moving on to find the midpoint of this new line so i'm going in with my tape to measure the length of the line and i have 7.5 inches and half of that is 3.75 which is what i just marked and from that point i'll be coming in by half an inch okay so next i'll be marking a quarter of my bust circumference on the bust line and i'm marking that point away from the center back so all this is just to help me create the armhole for this pattern so once that point is marked i'll go on to connect it to this other point and then to the end of the shoulder slope so i'm doing this with my free hand but you can choose to use your armhole curve as well so now that i'm done with the armhole i'll be moving on to the waistline and on that waistline i'll be marking a quarter of my waist circumference away from the center back so after marking that point i'll go on to connect it to the measurement i have on the bust line so i'll be going in with my ruler to connect the two points together and that's it for the back pattern so i stopped my pattern at the waistline but you can choose to extend yours to get your hip line if you want i just wanted mine to stop here so because the back has no zipper it's very important that you go for a fabric that has some stretch and it's important that the stretch should run across from side to side just as i'm indicating so yeah now i'll go ahead to cut out the pattern and move on to create the front pattern now for the front pattern i'll be coming down from the top of my pattern paper by 1.5 inches not one inch this time and that's because i'll be needing a bit more space for the neckline extension so after marking that point across i'll go on to square it out with my ruler and that will be the shoulder line for the front and just like we did for the back from that line i'm coming down by 16 inches to get my waistline and then i'll go on to find the midpoint between the two lines mark that square it across to get my bust line and now that i have my three lines it's time to work on the front neckline and of course the neck width i'll be using is three inches just like i did for the back 
and for the neck depth i'll be coming down by three inches along the center front from the shoulder line i'll just go on to connect the two points together and then from this point right here i'll be going up by one inch remember for the back pattern we went up by half an inch but for the front i'll be going up by one inch so after marking the point i'll bring in my ruler to connect it back to the shoulder line and then i'll move on to mark half of my across shoulder measurement along the shoulder line and from that point i'll go down by half an inch just like we did for the back i'll connect that point back to the shoulder line like so and then i'll go on to create my shoulder slope by connecting that point to the neckline extension so there's a shoulder slope for the front but because i extended the neckline by one inch and not half an inch like i did for the back the length of the shoulder slope will tend to be longer than that for the back pattern so I brought in the back pattern because they need to match. So I'm just marking the point where the shoulder slope of the back pattern stops. Once I've done that, I'll take the new measurement from that point to the center front and mark that measurement on the bust line. And then I'll connect the two points together in a straight line. Next, I'll be finding the midpoint of that line just like we did for the back. And from that point, I'll be going in by three quarter of an inch. And then on the bust line again i'll mark a quarter of my bust circumference away from the center front and now i'll just connect all the points together to create the front armhole once that's done i'll be moving down to the waistline to mark a quarter of my waist circumference then i'll go on to connect the point on the waistline to that on the bust line and that's it for the front pattern so this edge right here is my center front and it will also be cut on a fold just like the back I'll also go on to indicate that this is the front and that the fabric should have a stretch running across like so. And yeah, we've come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my previous tutorial where I used this pattern. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next tutorial.